presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Phil in Puerto Rico. Hey, Phil, what's going on? Hey, Tom, doing great. Um, just wanted to thank you guys and the whole crew. Best content on the internet. Really appreciate everything you guys are doing. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Phil, how did you find us? I just typed in live trading in YouTube one morning. Cool. I was looking for any type of live trading room you guys came up in. The, awesome. I know quality when I see it, or at least I like to think so. And uh, I mean, you guys are just a dream. I appreciate everything well, you guys do. Welcome to the Tiger family. We appreciate your growling oh, problem with us. Oh, my pleasure. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Make it a great night, folks. Don't make assumptions. Ask for what you want. Find the courage to ask for what you want. Others have the right to tell you yes or no, but you always have the right to ask. Likewise. Everyone has the right to ask you for what they want, and you have the right to say yes or no. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 94, NASDAQ is off 408, S&P is down 50, gold contract up $35, trading at $17.99.10 an ounce. We got silver up 89 cents, $22.40 an ounce, light sweet crude. Up a buck, $71.92 a barrel. Notes and bonds, the 10-year up 26, trading 131.04. The 30 up 13 ticks, trading at 162.05. And, and check this out, man. This is pretty wild. You get the 10 year yield, folks, at 1.41. Pretty wild. King dollar. King dollar is down 451 ticks, trading at 96.06. Euro is at 113. The yen is out here at 113.60. And the British pound is trading at 133 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. I know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you made a new all-time high. Failed on price. It's not going to fail on volume because it looks to me like we're going to have volume up here. Last high at 72 million. But it being only 3 o'clock, they can bang out like 95 million in there. And, you know, we'll see where this baby shakes out. Uh, there's no doubt that as soon as it hit that, as soon as it got over the highs today, they sold it big time. But that being said, this is still right next to the highs. That's how this thing shakes out. NDX 100, we go take a look at the three Qs. A little different ball game in the three Qs. What you have with the three Qs is that you got over the highs of yesterday and then gave it up in spades. And then you are going to have, let me look at this for a second, because it looks to me, you're gonna be pushing. Yeah, we'll see if it shakes out tomorrow, but what this is really doing, one more day out, one more day, you're gonna actually be pushing that swing point with volume. And that means higher price also. Pretty wild. The gold contract. What do we have with the gold contract? Gold contract out here trading up $34.30. We hit the 1800 mark. Not that. Does that mean anything? No, it doesn't. What means something is that we have the wide price spread going with us. You get the volume going in this year, 158,000 contracts. You took out the consolidation. Next step up here is somewhere about 1825. 1925 is game. That's the way I'm looking at this market. We go take a look at the silver contract. What do we have at silver? Silver is always high, more highly volatile than gold. Uh, bottom line, finally caught a bid. It's up 90 cents. You're trading 53,000 contracts. It already had rejected the lower price from the last time we were down there on September 29th. That's saying that silver's back on the track to get up to the 25, 28. And I suspect silver actually wants to go to the $28 mark right now. You're at 22.45. Let's go take a look at note, note and bond market because this is, a, there is no doubt, you know, you get the Fed coming out saying, okay, we're going to taper. We're going to bring that down quicker. We're going to go up in our rates. And guess what? Market is buying um, the bonds. That's the, and we very well might have a small ABC structure on the way up. The 10 years done 1.2 million out here today. Most times, when you have this type of price spread, you should be banging at about 1.7. So it can still use more volume. Um, we are going against, let's see what we're going against here. 
The high is uh, yeah. The high is two 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 million contracts. Two two million is is the normal deal when you get a, a big day like this. And good old King Dollar. So for us, metal bulls, King Dollar is helping tremendously out here. Any type of commodity bull. That's that's the real bottom line. Um, you know, we'll see what what shakes out. I mean, the lowest swing here is a uh, ninety five five seventeen. You know, my take is that we're coming back to the breakout area, and this is where we've been building cause. But there's no doubt it's been frustrating. Yesterday was a big day because yesterday you got over the swing high. It failed to hold price, pulls all the way back. That's telling me that, you know, we have the breakout area that is game. Some of the higher volume equities. Let's go take a look at that out here today. So you have uh, Apple down seven, I'm going to say eight bucks right now. Uh, Ma Bell finally caught a bid. That's up a buck forty-eight. You got Nvidia down twenty-two dollars. That's having a problem out here. Pfizer's up two dollars. You got uh, look at that. That's getting smoked. Blackett uh, Holdings. That's down four sixty. You get Verizon up two bucks. So this is really strange, man. Look at the why, what the heck. So what, what the what the phone companies definitely did is that they they got to the lower end of their consolidation. Rejected lower price. Now you get a monster move, and I suspect with this 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 whole move into the uh, the telecoms as well as the commodities, folks. This is the inflation move. Uh, that's where this to me is shaking out because you can see, you know, Mabel at this price pays an 8.8 percent .8 dividend. Okay, so you could get two different things out of this. You could get the aspect of the principal going higher, meaning the, the equity itself going higher, plus you get the kicker um, of a uh, nice dividend. So pretty big number. Inside the NDX 100, let's go say, take a look at the strength versus the weakness out here. Uh, Strength-wise, what you have, you have Peloton is up by 2.7%. You got Kraft Heinz up 2.1%, Charter Communications up 25 taken away from it. Adobe's down 10.5%. You get Skyworks down 9.5%. Xilinx is down 8 And NVIDIA's down 7 You can You can see it's so, always so intriguing watching how the NASDAQ likes to trade. Uh, let's go to Adobe first because this is, you talk about taking it on the chin quick. Holy cow. In four days, the stock has gone from 675 to 556 And we have volume. And it does as well. Let's see. Let's put this on a weekly and see what we got up here. Yeah, see that on a weekly, this is this is set up for a, a come back to the breakout area at least. That's 502. You can see this. There's no volume at highs. I mean none. And then you have volume off the high. What everyone should be doing right now is this. Over the weekend, folks, bottom line, you want to look at equities. And if you if any of your equities in the portfolio have volume off the high, I would put a stop right underneath it, okay? Give it nothing. Volume off the high m most times sets up a very large correction. As soon as we come back, we're going to be talking about Newmont, and you talk about Newmont finally catching a bid. This is These are institutions buying this. Newmont's up 4.5%, has volume behind the move. We have the gold going higher as well as the gold and silver equity. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. 
powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now are down to 59. You get the NASDAQ off 404. S&Ps are down 47. So let's go over. We're gonna, first, we're going to go take a look at Newmont. You're going to see how Newmont caught that bid. Now, what I want to show you here is that you have Invesco coming into New, Newmont here. And I believe Invesco has some ETF structures, too. And that's, that's where it may be. But this is going to get intriguing watching this now. Okay, so Newmont. Come on. N-E-W. No, N-E-M. Okay, so when we take a look at this, what we had is that you had Newmont, you know, you could, had to come off the bottom with some strength. Well, first off, it, it basically took out its low, had lighter volumes that took it out, had some volume on it. Uh, the last four days, you're talking about volatility, we were at 57 uh, on, uh, two, yeah, on, on Monday. You, yesterday, we were at 53. Today, it's at 58 and a half. And that's number one, you know, the swing point up here is running to 59. And if we take a look at this, though, this is what is inviting. Uh, I want to go through a few more of these. I, I went through a bunch of them when the commercial was on. But, okay, see this right here? This is good. So if you're watching Tiger TV, folks, okay, this is when what, what ends up happening is that the um, – I've been doing the same equities for so long, folks. Like, you know, you, you get used to like when these big funds come in and out. This is what you need for much higher price, okay? Because it's not the retail market that basically brings you to higher price. It's the big institutions that come in that the retail market is buying. In this case, you can see it. See right down here? Yesterday, you had uh, Invesco buy 3 million more. Now, they had only owned 7 million prior to that. So they almost did 50% more of the position. Now, if I go like this, you're gonna see it right at the very top. That's what we're looking for. And then if I pull this down, you're gonna see that it's basically in one fund. I think it's, well, no, look at, no, they put them in every portfolio. So that, well, multiple portfolios, the f multiple portfolios and multiple portfolios, yeah. So that one there, they bought, you can see Invesco diversified, Invesco diversified, Invesco income, Invesco, Equity, Invesco, S&P, 500. I don't know. Well, I guess, no, they, they could put that in the S&P 500 because you have uh, new months in the 500. But th this is, that, I suspect, is going to be the beginning of a lot of buying. Now, let me do Royal Gold. What, what I had done during the break, folks, I did uh, an Eco Eagle. They're not in there yet. I did Barrick Gold. They're not in there yet. When I say not in there, what I'm explaining is that I didn't see any new buys. I'm looking for new buys uh this last two weeks that's what we're looking for and they're not here yet 
Okay, so that's Royal Gold FNV. We're going to do Franco Nevada. And 12. Nope, they're not there either. Um, hey, we'll find out uh, what is the next one they're going to go after. But that, just so you can understand how that works, the... What I've seen is this, is that when the large funds start coming in, okay, the bottom line is that they don't buy it once. They come in and they'll come in for a long period of time. When they sell, that's the bummer. You go downtown for a long period of time. Let's go to Tom in Dallas. Hey, Tom, what's going on? Hello, Tom. How you been? Huh? I've been doing great. Good. I am, uh, I've been watching, this, uh, watching the, the, the stocks drop and... And, you know, over the years, several years, I've watched uh, MUX vacillate between, like, uh, 90 and, and maybe 140. And uh, just kind of, it seems like a neat one to trade in the channels. And when it got down this time, I, I put in an order, and then I pulled it out at 88 cents. And, uh, of course, it jumped right through there. I see it's losing losing a lot. seems like it's doing worse than it was has been recently and i know you're really close to the the, the McEwen operation what do you know about that is that something to stay really not not get too involved with since they're you know their business doesn't seem to be doing as well let's take let's take let's take a look at it these, these are some awesome questions folks okay uh so you got McEwen mine mining and of course that's we'll have to get rob McEwen back on to talk to him the low is 80 cents the high is 170 um, you know, this is a producer, folks, okay, but they lose money at this price. They produce uh, $37 million a year, and he's still saying he's going to lose $0.10 cents on that, and then he claims that the ne next year he's going to be making money. Now, to answer your question, this is really cool, man. I mean, because I, I don't have this one. I actually have Vista Gold, and Vista did the exact same thing, and what you have to really wrap your head around, well, first off, if you like the stock, I'd buy it right here. That's the other side of it, because what, what you had is that it, they all, they didn't all broke. This broke down, Vista broke down. Um, you know, that being said though, you know, you're gonna get a rejection of lower price out here uh, at 88, no, at 84, no, at 80, no, at 80. This thing went to 80. So you're at 84, at 80 you get a rejection. And, you know, the bottom line is that more than likely it's gonna go to the top of the range now. And the top of the range on this is, you know, a lot higher, man, the buck 70. You know, so so that'd be great if you could have him on and he could talk about um, about that turnaround that he's playing because you know gold's been up; it isn't that far off of the high, and yet it, if if he's kind of losing money at, it, with gold at these levels, I just kind of was wondering how healthy the business is. The that's a different issue than how low the stock actually went, and. This is, this, is, this is a great question you have here, okay? Because specifically, I understand exactly what you're saying. You're saying, hey, man, you know, I mean, what's wrong with your company, right? I mean, that, that's what you're saying, reality-wise. And that's how a lot of these equities traded. I mean, well, you know, what you had, you had this last, let's say the last six weeks, right? What you did have is that normally when gold and silver runs, folks, okay, all the gold and silver stocks normally run. That is not what we had happen this time. What you had happen is that you had like a Anglo Ashanti go from like $12 to 22. Newmont was going down as that's going up. Goldfields did the same thing. And so that was, this was a different type of market, Tom, in that context. The smaller gold and silver equities, they broke bottoms. They just broke them out. That being said, you get a whole change out here today. So, But I will definitely get hold of McEwen and get him on to get his fundamental take on it for sure. That'd be great. That'd be a great show, Tom. Okay, man. You have a great one, a safe one. Have a good weekend. Thank you. 877-927-6648. And there's no doubt, folks, I can, I can you know, the, the differences are, are huge. <laughs> there's, there's no doubt. Um, that, if you're... If you've been in the gold market for a while, you know that's how it runs. If you're not in the gold market and you're going to get in the gold market, the best advice I could give you is do not get over your head. And 
Um, hopefully, uh, you'll be able to stomach some of the twist and turns because the twist and turns are pretty intense. And if you do get in the gold market, I think you better have an understanding that why gold would have to go up. Because what I've found is this. If you have the understanding, meaning that, hey, man, we're spending more money, gold can just stay focused with that money, you'll be fine because it'll be a strong holdup. Dow Industrials up 14, NASDAQ down 361, S&P's off 33. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, up 42. NASDAQ is down 351. S&Ps are off 32. So let's go look at uh, Anglo Ashanti for a couple of the tigers out here. Now, I own this equity also, folks, okay? So... When, and this is what I was talking when I was talking with Tom from Dallas. These, this is where we definitely had divergence inside of the gold equity market also. You can see three months ago the stock was at $14. It went all the way up to $22. Okay? So, and that was when gold was consolidating going sideways. Okay, so now what the question is, one of the Tigers have, has got this because this was a, of an ABC structure on the way up. Uh, bottom line, it, you know, uh, it basically turned into a complex ABC structure on the way up. And now, let me see what we have here. Three, uh, now you're gonna, well, if we get more than 3.5 million tomorrow, you're gonna, you're gonna have action. So first off, this is what 
the question is, should I take my money and run? I wouldn't take my money and run. This is why. There's two different issues here. The first one, I expect you're going to go to the high because what, you, what you've just seen out here today is you've seen buying inside of the sector. So when you have buying inside of the sector, uh, the bottom line is that that is saying we're going to go higher. You broke the downtrend and the downtrend that's been in place for a couple of weeks. Okay, you broke it with conviction. Conviction is wide price spread, accelerated volume. That's what we have. Okay, so you get that there. Now, what? That's the smaller issue. This is the bigger issue, and this is where this gets cool. And this is when gold starts running, folks. Okay, these things go very quick. So, my take is that number one, you're going to get to this 22. Then your next step up here is 26.75. And if we get that, guess what, man? 38's game. So I'd stay right there. You know, if I bring this back, you can get a little bit clar more clarity when you bring this back. I'll do it five years from now. Um, you know, this has been a, a monster consolidation, uh, but that's sticking out there. And that, that, that high bar that's out there has decent volume. So 32 to 38 is actually game inside of that equity. Um, and we'll, we'll see if, uh, they, but bottom line, we'll see whether they can pull it up because what we are going to get now, this is where, this is where this always gets interesting is that, it, do you know that, listen to this, this is how crazy this is because the gold market is so small and because analysts, you know, basically I'm taught a lot about gold. They always go in and buy Newmont. That's how it works, folks. Okay. This is, you know, I've had the gold report for 21, 22 years that, they, they don't even know another gold stock. Oh, buy Newmont. Okay, that's what we got to buy. Okay, so someone finally bought it. <laughs> that's, that's the bottom line. Okay, someone finally bought it. And that says, well, we know that the institution is in it now because I just pulled it up. And you can see that uh, Invesco bought three points up a million shares yesterday. Okay, so with Newmont, what you also have is that the bottom line is that your downtrend's broken. And this has been going down, you know, forever. That says that Newmont now wants to run to 35. You're at 31. And you can see, oh, sorry, sorry. one second, no. That's, that was the GDX. It, this, the reason I had the GDX up there is I want to talk about this. Because the GDX, what will end up happening is that the XAU, the HUI, and the GDX will start getting some traction. And when it gets traction, what will end up happening is plenty of people that only buy that. And they'll start here, and that's going up. And the other equities either going sideways or going down. This is when you really start getting action. We go back to Newmont for a second. What you're going to see on Newmont, you know, Newmont's up four, up four dollars forty-two cents. You have the wide price spread. You have the volume. My take is that Newmont will not only blow this um, swing point away at fifty-nine, and if that's what we get, what you're going to see on Newmont is that put that baby up. Okay, that you're going to be sixty-two is the number, and you can see. See when you look at this chart that the last time that we had. Big volume was 62 on the way down. Well, when you establish a bottom, and you can see there was really nothing wrong with this equity, okay? Other than if you're in it, it it's a drag because, you know, the, the bottom line, if you're in it the last um, five weeks, you know, you had to take heat from $59 down to 53, consolidation. But you can see when we had broken topside in 2020, well, guess what? It came back to that breakout area. And it still had lighter volume in the breakout than the breakout area. So I suspect first it's going to be 50, let's say 60 bucks. Then the real, then, then it's going to, it's going to get some flack at 62, uh, 57. But if in fact this gold contract keeps going, um, gold loves doing straight line moves. And here, watch this. I'm going to put this. I talked about this yesterday, but now this is going to be this is going to this this hammer is going to be a more intense weekly hammer, I believe. Okay, because gold has yeah, it is. It's beautiful. So what gold has done, folks, is this: the gold contract has three higher lows and two higher highs. Okay, and these lows all have these monster hammers. The, the, big, the biggest signal when, when I really went all in was the, in August, okay? So I've been sitting here for a while. Um, well, I'm not really sitting here because an eco eagle and I mean, not uh, Anglo shot and, you know, 
gold fields went higher. But the bottom line is that, in general, it wasn't the run that I, I thought it would be. And we'll see whether this comes out this time. But when you see, and I, I you, know, you know, see this big hammer right here, folks, okay? When I learned about this big hammer, of how powerful they can be, I see it's on a monthly, too. This is awesome. See that month? It's on a monthly. When I learned about this, and, you know, uh, yesterday um, when we were talking about the aspect of um, markets going higher, the Fed coming in, and, you know, there's plenty of people, if you shot the market, it's, it's upsetting, of course, when the market goes up like it, like it does. Um, and depending on how, I know there's tigers out there. When I, when I, was, I was live on the air, folks, okay, um, in 1998, so the, the way we had built TFNN, I used to trade live on the air all the time, right? And in 1998, right, so pitch this, there's three of us doing the program. We were all doing really well because they, this was the downdraft of 1998. So what ends up happening is that I'm shot to the yin-yang. You know, you, we were doing fine for three or four weeks. The market was crashing. And it's 10 past three. And what ended up happening is that Greenspan and Rubin come out. And this has never happened, by the way, okay? Greenspan and Rubin come out. So picture, we're, we're live. I'm live. I'm here. Mark is over there and Peter. There's three of us that used to do it. And we're all... Peter used to always trade options all the time. Mark and I would be trading equity. So we're banging it out, banging it out. And live, okay, Greenspan says, we're going down on the rates by a half a percent. Well, if you ever seen something flip around, the, the market went from, I don't know, maybe at that point we're down 300, but 300 then would be like 1,200 now, okay, because it's that long ago, and then went up 300. I'm... Just so, because a couple of Tigers were upset yesterday with the Federal Reserve. I am screaming, this ain't fair, this ain't fair. I can't believe he did that when the market's open. And I'm really saying this ain't fair, like like a little baby, right? It's like, it just shows how ignorant I was about the market at that particular point. Bottom line, what did happen is that the size of that candle, okay? That market never looked back until the crash of two, 2000. So. Pay attention to those monster candles. And I think that's what we have inside the gold market right now. Come right back, folks. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. 
Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call, call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 90. 90. The Nasdaq is down 330. S&Ps, folks, are only down 26. Got to love this market, man. And uh, I'm going to talk about the market more right now. Uh, right now, though, I'm going to talk about the Tiger Dollar sale. So we do this a couple times a year, folks, okay? If you're looking to save any money at TFNN, to get any subscriptions at TFNN, if you already have subscriptions at TFNN, this is how we basically get you to get more value for the premium that we deliver every day inside of the not only the, the programs, but the newsletters. The way the Tiger Dollar sale, it ends on the 23rd. We do, do this a couple times a year. Uh, what happens is that you can save up to 40%. And the way this works is that you can buy 500 Tiger Dollars and you get 600, which is a 20% bonus. You can buy 1,000 and get 1,300, which is a 30% bonus, or you can buy 1,500 and that's a max which gives you a bonus of $600 at 21%, I mean of 40%. So check it out on the front page of TFNN. Okay, now, this is going to be cool, man. So we're going to go look at the SMHs, and we're going to show you what the SMHs are setting up. And the SMHs, folks, are setting up that they want lower price. Okay, so when we bring the SMHs set up, where do you see this? And I'm not talking about right now. I'm talking about the SMHs more than likely are going to bounce again. Now, the uh, Larry Pesavento has had Joe DiNapoli on a few times. Uh, if you've heard him, it's great. Joe's, Joe and I actually went to the same high school in Roxbury, Massachusetts, Boston Technical High School, which is pretty funny. And I didn't even know that when I was interviewing him over like 30, 35 years ago. So make a long story short, it was a science math school, all of the above. So he's a Fibonacci expert, no doubt. He comes in, this is called, this is a setup that he calls railroad tracks. And what it is is this, is that you, you get an up day, then you get a down day. This, this, I'm just going through this one right here. Well, the way he has this set up, if you can, let me pull this closer. Okay, so let's see how I do this. So put this on. Oh, there we go. Okay. So when you pull it closer, then, I actually, I'm going to do it this way. I'll do it intraday because this is what you do. So the way you trade this, this is four days. The way you trade this is you take this top bar from four days range period. They put five days so I can see this on. Okay, cool. So you take the point six one eight retracement. I want to go this way, right? Yeah, beautiful. Okay. So what he would do is this. He would wait for a bounce. And th this setup, by the way, is, is really hard to do. And the setup, bottom line, what's nice about it is that you don't have to risk a lot in, in order to basically do pretty well. So what he would do is that he would sell the next .618 retracement. Okay? So right now, that would mean that he would look like that equity to go up to this uh, price point here, which is looks like... 305. You're 297. You let it go all the way up there to 305. You're selling there. You're putting a stop on the other side of the high. And the bottom line is that you're looking for much lower price. When you have a railroad track, folks, it's it's a change of trend. And you know the bottom line is that you can go pretty far. That's on the upside. On the downside, it works the exact same way. And I do understand, trust me, on the downside, what ends up happening is there's plenty of folks, if you're looking for lows and you get one of those, it's beautiful. It's like sick. You can stay in that stock for two or three years. That's kind of how that sets up. So, 
Um, it, it's a heads up in, in general. And as I've said many times, I don't think we're done going up number one. But that being said, I think we're going into long consolidation. And that long consolidation is going to uh, wreck some nerves out here. There, that, that's, 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 my, that's my take on this market. And, you know, the, the Q's 350s game, you know, but the way this market's trading, I don't see that until the first of the year. I just don't see it. Um, you can see when you're taking a look at this market, they're, 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 they're coming in and buying. Uh, and th this is something you want to look at, too. If, you're, if you have, you can see the XAU. The XAU broke the downtrend. That's what you need. You need the wide price spread on the break. So that means the XAU is going to 144. Right now, you're at 126. So that's a monster move. The gold bugs index is going to be the same thing. And what you're going to see here, it's, most of it's going to be because of new months finally moving. Uh, Barrick is going to be next. That's what's going to have to start moving next. Uh, the gold bugs index did the same thing. That wants to run up to this uh, 276 right now. You're at 247. So um, it's going to be intriguing watching this thing shake out. But my, my larger take is that we're, or what you're actually seeing here is that you're seeing... Probably, it's not for the first time, because I remember saying this six or seven weeks ago, too, that these are trading differently. But you're starting to see real buyers come in here. And, you know, what we do know now is this. This is the second time that the market could get wrecked intraday and the golds weren't down. You know, well, let me restate that. They are all of them weren't down. Normally, the way that the gold market is traded forever, the market's low, every single equity's low. And we don't have that, you know, so we'll see whether it's going to be different this time. Um, what I, what I, the next thing I want to see, I want to see that that barrack starts moving. Barrack is up 75 cents, which isn't bad, but not compared to what some of these other equities are up. In fact, let's go look at the Pan American Silver, PAAS. That's got, that's got some juice. Okay, so... Uh, the rejection of lower price, you had the hammer yesterday. That's saying that Pan American Silver wants to run to 28.2 and you're to 23.81 right now. Uh, that's always been, you know, a nice, strong silver stock. There's no doubt about that. Um, and what we will see, if this is, this is going to be the run, what you are going to see, you'll see silver start to move very quickly. Because what does happen is that there's many folks that really can't afford buying gold or buying the platinum so they come in and buy the silver that's all i have to do is buy the silver and that starts running that stock and that's why i say see that silver is much more volatile than gold that that's bottom line how it shakes out let's go take a look at the volumes and see where we're going to come in with the volumes because tomorrow i suspect there's going to be light volume right now you're at 679 inside the nyse that's kind of light volume actually inside the nasdaq composite you're at 4.1 billion so that will do about 4.7. Let me put this composite up. Okay, so how does this shake out? Let's see. So that's going to be, we got to a higher price. Look at that. So, okay, check this out, man. Ooh, this is intense, too. You so say, you know what this is saying? This is saying that on the NASDAQ, it's, it's saying that those, the composite, those highs don't have to be hit. You know, because if we, we pay attention to this railroad track, it, this has the railroad track also. Um, you know, so the, so the bottom line is that uh, there'll be people that'll be looking to sell the 0.618 of this whole move out here today. And, you know, there, there's, there's no doubt that uh, we are not the only ones that, you know, are basically Fibonacci, you know, theorist experts. Um, you know, there's a lot of people that like Fibonacci. And as I've said many times, what does happen in a market like this what I've found is that the Fibonacci sequence gets hit much more when you have fast markets and highly volatile markets. Don't forget about the Tiger Dollar sale, folks, okay? You can, uh, you know, bottom line, uh, save 10, I think it's, what, 10, 20, and 40%. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Dow Industrials right now are down, uh, up 20. NASDAQ is down 364. S&Ps are off 32. We'll come right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. 
At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, down uh, uh, up 20. NASDAQ is down 360. S&Ps are up 35. Let's go to the S&Ps first. So take a look at the S&Ps, how this baby shook out. Okay, so you had a high out here today of 47.43. Oh, man, look at the 101-point 100, move in the S&P, folks. Unbelievable. That being said, guess what? You're off the low by 20 bucks, too. So what you have here now is this. Let me see if I can do it this way. Oh, this will be interesting. I haven't done this for a while. This is the future volume. Ah, I see it's a new month, but that's all right. Okay, so 2.3 million. Let me do this. Watch this. ES, ESZ1. Let's just see what we had at a high in the futures. Okay, so what I'm doing is this, folks. I'm going back to... The December contract, so I can see what the volume was at the high, and do the correlation. Oh, it's going to be good. So the correlation is 1.6 million contracts at the high. Okay, so E S H 1. What did I say? 1.1 million. 1.1. Oh, this is good. 1.1 1 .1 million. And now you're hitting a high. You hit a high. 1.4 million. One, oh, 1.9 million too. Damn. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. So you, you're hitting the highs with the same amount, 1.93. See that? Yep. One point. So th listen, that's saying that the S&P is not done on the way up. That's, that's how you basically, that's how I read that anyway. When you, when you push into a high, if you push into the high and in, in the future there, we had about the same amount of contract, you're not done. You're not done on the way up. The, the way that you're done on the way up is that, here, watch this, S, 
T D L. S T L D. This is I just I was doing this for a tiger earlier. Look at this here. So this is steel dynamics. This is wants to go higher, but let me show the I'm gonna do this quick on a longer term basis. What you're gonna see is that on the daily, come on, baby. Oh well, it's gonna be tomorrow. Anyway. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Go get him, folks.